All right, so it's been 201 days since I bought these two little red tailed catfish. Been taking videos every day, posting them on YouTube so you can see how fast they grow. And we just did a water change the other day, so they should be pretty spry today. <laughs> Usually I start out with some hand feeding. Looks like they're, they're coming right up for some hand feeding. <laughs> Look at how big they are. They are pretty big. All right, so let's see if I can find a little piece of fish here for him. Oh, look, he's coming right up to the top. Look at that. <laughs> I've never fed him from the surface of the water. It's usually down here on the bench. <laughs> look at how big he is. Wow. That is crazy. All right, let's see if we can find another one that's not frozen. So this is still a little bit frozen frozen here this one's pretty good all right let's see if we can give this guy a little bit here <laughs> wow they are really getting big really super friendly it's been uh maybe about a month and a half that i've been hand feeding them they're really shy at first it took them a long time to to come up to to trust me with my hand to actually come up I accidentally kicked the hot tub with my boot and they kind of freaked out a little bit there. <laughs> wow, they're getting really friendly. They definitely get a lot more active right after a water change, which is interesting. I've been doing a 50% water change every week. And this is about 350 gallons. So, uh, even with uh, 350 gallons, it seems like they get pretty sluggish at the end of a whole week. Which is weird. I thought they'd have, you know, I, I wouldn't think they'd be affected at all by the, you know, a one week. <laughs> one week between water changes. It seems like it does have an effect. All right, so I'm going to feed them the rest of this food here. This is three different kinds of fish. This is cod, tilapia, and mahi-mahi that I got at the grocery store. And I'm going to finish up with some underwater video. Thank you. 